It's an absolute pleasure to introduce Lucy McVigor, Students for Life of America. Woo! Woo! Good afternoon, my name is Lucy McVicker. I'm the Communications Director for Students for Life of America, and I am not a college student, I am a graduate. Students for Life of America does not approve of Elena Kagan for Supreme Court Justice for a number of reasons, all stemming from her radical pro-abortion policies. First, she is a proponent of partial birth abortion. A number of documents released by the Clinton Presidential Library show Kagan not only manipulating text from ACOG in an effort to persuade President Clinton, but also counseling him to twice veto the partial birth abortion ban. One such document is dated for December 14, 1996, in which Kagan states, this of course would be a disaster, referring to the ACOG statement, which includes the sentence, a select panel convened by ACOG could identify no circumstances under which the partial birth abortion procedure would be the only option to save the life or preserve the health of the woman. New language was provided by Kagan, who is not a doctor, for Kathy Bryant, the former Associate Director of Government Relations at ACOG. These, these statements were later used to testify before the Supreme Court in Stenberg versus Carhart. In a memo to President Clinton on April 10, 1997, Kagan quoted her manipulated language, calling it the most reliable opinion concerning partial birth abortion. Not only is she a proponent of partial birth abortion, she's also in favor of human cloning. In, May, in a May 29, 1997 memo from Kagan to President Clinton and Jack, to President Clinton and Jack Gibbons, the former assistant to the President for Science and Technology, Kagan suggested that President Clinton support banning only the type of human cloning that resulted in the birth of a live baby. In other words, she advised President Clinton in advocating a clone and kill policy whereby he would have supported the cloning of human beings for the sole purpose of killing them in research. Elena Kagan illustrates the extent to which our society's disregard for human life reaches and the perverse utilitarian mindset pervading the pro-abortion pro agenda. Her overtly partisan views and support for partial birth abortion prove that she is unable to be a fair and bipartisan judge, something all judges, especially Supreme Court justices, are called to be. She is not qualified to serve on the United States highest court. 